this week I was tidying up some loose ends on a report and I noticed that I had an unattributed reference to survivorship bias. Until very recently I would have had little choice but to turn to Google Scholar to try to find an original source for this important concept in finance and economics. Such searches in Google Scholar for seminal papers are never as easy as they might seem. If you try the search term survivorship bias, you are not going to be dished up a response which neatly and crisply identifies the correct originating paper. Instead, you will have to dig through the reference lists in a morass of papers hoping to find someone who actually bothered to cite the original author in their own later research. This is regrettably rare. Far too many researchers are negligent about attributing ideas to their original sources, and Google Scholar searches for seminal authors can waste a lot of time. So, this time I decided to give ChatGPT a go instead, as usual, it was very quick to produce a response, attributing survivorship bias to work done by Abraham Wald in the 1940s. Even better, Wald's research comes with a colorful backstory about the effectiveness of armor plating for aircraft during the Second World War. I next asked ChatGPT for the paper I should cite. It almost instantly returned my required reference. This is outstanding, I thought. No more scratching around for seminal papers. Just one last step remained. I had no particular reason to doubt the AI model's response, especially given its highly specific details with volume and page numbers and everything. However, Recent examples of confident but completely wrong responses by AI models suggested that some fact-checking would be in order. So I did end up going back to Google Scholar, searching on the author, date and title supplied by ChatGPT. As you can see, Google Scholar has never heard of this paper. According to Google, it simply does not exist. At this stage, to be completely honest, I thought that Google was mistaken and ChatGPT was right. So I logged into my university library and accessed the Annals of Mathematical Statistics from 1947. The volume number, which was 18, matched what was supplied by ChatGPT, so I checked issue 1. I found no sign whatsoever of a paper by Abraham Wald in that issue. Just to be sure, I then checked the second, third and fourth issues of volume 18 from 1947. No sign anywhere of Wald or survivorship bias. Next, I tried Wikipedia. Does this Abraham Wald even exist? It seemed plausible that he might be the same statistician who came up with the Wald test as used in logistic regression, but at this point the whole thing was starting to look extremely murky. It turns out that according to Wikipedia, Abraham Wald is indeed the same statistician who developed the Wald test, and he did indeed work on aircraft survivability during the Second World War. But Wald never published a paper on this research under the title alleged by ChatGPT in the Annals of Mathematical Statistics in 1947 or any other year. Additional searching turned up an unpublished 1943 US Navy working paper by Wald entitled A Method of Estimating Plane Vulnerability Based on Damage of Survivors. In essence, Wald demonstrated the logical error of adding armor plate to the shot up sections of planes that had returned from combat. After all, these are the ones that actually survived the mission because they were still able to fly. Therefore, armor should be added to the least damaged parts of the surviving planes. 
This is because it is rational to conclude that the planes that had been hit in those areas were the ones that never made it back to base and were lost in action. But back to you, chat GPT. This is very much a cautionary tale about the consequences of AI hallucination, which we can define as a confident response by the model, which is, to put it bluntly, utter bullshit. The response may or may not be a complete fabrication, or it may, as in this case, be a credible synthesis of partial truths. Wald was a prominent statistician, and he did work on aircraft survivability, but he never published this particular research in the Annals of Mathematical Statistics. He has a number of other papers in this journal, just not on aircraft survivability. So different blobs of information are combined by the AI model into a plausible but false whole. As a postscript, I next turn to OpenAI's Text Da Vinci 003 model and asked it what might be going on here. The response shows how much we still have to go to figure out where this is all headed.